Both in the commercial and residential AV market, the range and number of audio visual input and output devices just keeps growing. HowToAV.tv shows you how to get all those devices connected and under control to send any signal anywhere. How many AV source devices do you have in your home? Sky TV, DVD, Blu-ray, Apple TV, iPad, smartphone, camcorder, digital media store, Xbox, PS3, PC and a laptop? Surprising how long that list starts to get when you think about it, isn't it? And what about TVs? One in the living room, one in the kitchen maybe, children's bedrooms perhaps? And maybe now the car's even been demoted to the driveway since the garage got converted into your very own home cinema or personal man cave perhaps? So as the number of AV devices increases, we're beginning to see more home entertainment systems becoming comparative to the multi-channel, multi-screen systems of the commercial AV industry. And we can use exactly the same principles and technologies to manage, control and distribute all these devices, both in commercial and residential AV applications. Let's start with a simple task of connecting four HDMI AV sources to a single screen. Most TVs and commercial screens will be limited to just two onboard HDMI inputs. But if we want to connect more HDMI devices, Blu-ray, Apple TV, Skybox and PS3 for instance, without having to switch cables around when we want to switch devices, then a simple HDMI switcher is going to provide the answer. A four-way HDMI switcher has four HDMI inputs to connect all four source devices and a simple HDMI output to connect to your display screen, projector or TV. You can switch between source devices either from the buttons on the front of the unit using an infrared remote controller or in many cases your switcher will support RS-232 control to integrate with third-party automation control systems such as Control 4, Savant, Crestron or AMX for instance. Taking multiple device distribution a stage further, what do we do if we want multiple source devices and multiple output displays in the same system? So for example, let's say four source devices and four screens, TVs or projectors. This now requires an AV matrix, i.e. something that has four inputs and four HDMI outputs. An AV matrix allows us to simultaneously connect all four source devices and all four display devices and quickly and easily switch which source we wish to display on each screen. So that might be Blu-ray to screen one, Apple TV to screen two, and Xbox to screen three, for example. Or we can select the same device to show on multiple screens. For example, Blu-ray on screens one, two, and three, and Skybox on screen four. And any combination you choose of the four in and four out signals. Just like the switcher device, a matrix can be controlled from the front of the unit or remotely via infrared or third party control systems via touchscreen devices, tablets, or your iPhone, for instance. And matrices, to use the correct plural, aren't limited to just four or eight inputs and outputs. As the requirement to control more and more devices continues to increase with a wide range of signals, you'll now find professional matrix products on the market with anything up to 32 inputs and outputs, controlling not just HDMI, but also other AV standards such as VGA, DVI and SDI. And with AV signals now being transmitted over greater distances using the emerging HD-based T technology, HD-based T matrices are becoming commonplace for commercial and residential multiple AV signal distribution. We tell you more about the emerging HD-based T technology in our video titled What is HD-based T 5 Play? Available now on the How To AV channel. For more information on AV signal distribution or for direct system advice from our AV experts, click on the screen now or leave us a question and your feedback in the comments section below. Thanks for viewing and join us again soon at howtoav.tv for more help and advice from the world of audiovisual.